Here's question two of the extended response. And we're looking at this picture. Apparently we have this parabolic frame supporting this bridge here. Now we know the equation of the frame. It's given to us down the bottom there. It's 60 minus, in fact, I'm gonna call it f of x. f of x equals 60 minus three on 80 x squared. And the first thing we're concerned with is finding this angle theta here. And the angle theta is between the tangent to the parabolic frame and the horizontal at the point here, here, down here, to the nearest degree. So it's the tangent at that point. Let's do a little sketch of that tangent. Let's draw it in. So there are really two parts here. We need to find the tangent here, and then we need to use our knowledge of trigonometry to solve for theta. Well, finding the tangent should be a single line of CAS working now. Well, two, we can define a function and then find the tangent. So let's define the function we're concerned with. We need to go many, one, one. Now, when you define a function with the same name as a previous one, it just overwrites it. So to find f of x here, but now I want f of x to be something else. That's okay. It'll override it. 60 minus 3 over 80 times x squared. There's our function. And we want to know the tangent at this point here, this x coordinate, this x value of negative 40. So the way we do that is we grab our tangent function. So that's 4, 9, tangent line, f of x. And our variable is x, and we're concerned with when x is negative 40. Let's get our tangent. There we are, 3x plus 120. So y tangent equals 3x plus 120. What good is that? Well, the gradient here lets us find theta. If you remember back to year 10 or 11, I'm not sure when you were meant to learn it, but the gradient of a line is equal to tan of theta, where theta is the angle made when the line passes through here. So that theta there, if you take tan of that theta, gives you the gradient. Makes sense. Think of tan of 45 degrees, right? That's one. And well, that's a rise and run of one. So if you want a way to remember that fact, think of tan of pi on four or tan of 45 degrees. So you've got that fact and we've got a gradient. Let's solve for theta. Theta is inverse tan of three. Now, if you're good students, you're going to leave your calculator in radians. So when you go to grab your tan function, which is frozen here, when you go to grab uh, tan, you'll get an answer in radians, which you'll need to convert to degrees. So the way you do that is you take your answer in radians and you multiply by its radians multiplied by 180 degrees on pi. Leave your calculator in radians, it's just easier. And to the nearest degree, theta ends up being 72 degrees.